Hello there, special baker. Today we are making a batch of incredible melt-in-your-mouth walnut crescent cookies. These little moon-shaped treats are perfect for any occasion, but they are especially a popular treat to celebrate Eid. These are buttery and nutty, and have the most delightful powdered sugar coating. They are a fun way to add a festive touch to your table. So grab your bowls and get ready to bake with me. Let's toast the raw walnuts in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 8 to 10 minutes. Toasting them for a few minutes beforehand really make them shine. First, it draws out their natural oils, not only intensifying their nutty flavor, but also giving them a nice and satisfying crunch that will be perfect in these cookies. Wow, the smell is amazing! I eyeball them into two portions, place one portion into a food processor and pulse in short bursts until they are fine and evenly ground. Just like this. Then I chop the rest of the toasted walnuts by hand into relatively small pieces because this ensures you get a delightful burst of nutty flavor and satisfying crunch in every bite. Toasted walnuts are done, the remaining steps are easy. Sift the flour and salt in a mixing bowl. Add in the chopped walnuts, followed by the ground one. Now for the wet ingredients, beat the unsalted butter until creamy. Add in custard sugar and continue to beat them until they are well mixed. For the best flavor, we'll be using a pure vanilla extract that will elevate our cookies to the next level. When it turns creamy, it's time to combine them together. Mix them at medium-low speed until they just turn into a dough. Then gradually bring it together by using a spatula. It doesn't look like they will turn into a dough, does it? But trust me, eventually they will. Just like this. To achieve the uniform in size, I recommend to use a tablespoon to scoop the dough rather than eyeball it. To shape the dough into a crescent, it's simple. First, roll the dough into a ball. Then, gently roll it into a sausage with pointy ends. Use the back of the tablespoon as a guide. Gently press the dough against it to create a curve. Just look like a crescent. Ta-da! It's easy, isn't it? If you find the dough becomes soft, feel free to place the dough into the fridge to chew it until it's firm for easy shaping. Place the shaped cookie on a lined baking tray an inch apart. If you find this difficult to shape into crescents, you can just simply roll it into balls. No matter what shape they are, they will taste nice because they are made with love. When finished shaping, place both trays in the fridge to chill to avoid the cookies from spreading during baking. After around 45 minutes, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius to get ready for baking the cookies. Bake the chilled cookies in the preheated oven for around 13 to 17 minutes or until the edges turn golden brown. For your reference, mine took 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them as the size and the thickness will affect the cooking time. Oh wow, the smell is incredible. So nutty and buttery. Just want to eat them straight away. But calm down, we need to let them sit on the tray for about 5 minutes to settle and transfer them on wire rack to cool down for another 5 to 10 minutes before coating them with delightful icing sugar. Dip each cookie in a bowl of icing sugar until the surface is evenly coated. Then shake off the excess. Continue to coat the remaining cookies. Mm, after coating around 40 cookies, surprisingly my countertop is not covered with icing sugar. It's still pretty good, isn't it? Choose a nice place to serve your cookies is a great way to make them look more special and appetizing. Here I chose a black serving place and I think it complements the shape and the colors of the cookies. What do you think? 
Before serving, dust more icing sugar to make them look more elegant and finished. There you have it, my friends. Here is my version of Walnut Crescent's cookies. They are nutty and buttery. When you bite, sweetness from the outside, then a hint of saltiness on the inside. Crunch from the nuts, but also melt in your mouth at the same time. It's an absolute delight and the perfect treat for celebrating Eid. If you like walnuts and cookies, I'm sure you will love this recipe. Click on the screen and watch it now. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any yummy recipes. So thanks so much for watching and happy baking. Bye.